Now, I'm sorry about that. Um, you know, the previous take cut off, but like I was saying, you know, there is a difference between the Amaru Maru and the indigenous American and the Moor from Southern Europe or the coast of Africa. Two totally different beings. One is from the stock of the indigenous West. One is from the stock of the East. So when we say that word more, it may describe a certain physical appearance when it comes to us, but it ain't got nothing to do with no nationality. That's facts. That's facts. Once again, the nationality will have to do something with American Aboriginal, Indigenous American, Autonomous American. I don't know how we're going to do it, but it will have to be something like that. I just think the word more is a little tricky and it's a little muddy right now as far as to this, you know. I'm going to show you all one more thing. So here we have in a favorite book of mine, um, The History of Georgia, one of my mother's old books from college. Once again, Blackbeard from the South. Now, I got this shit in my blood. But anyway, um, here in this book, we have Indians in the area of Georgia about 1750. So in 1750, this is how it looked. And this is all the aboriginals that's here in Georgia. So in Carolina, you got the Tuscarora and the Catawaba aborigines. Now, when I say the Savannah Aborigines, I'm talking about basically from the coast of Florida. I'm talking about all this. Like, all this is the Savannah and the Yamasee Aborigines right here. Hold on real quick. We got now. Once again, like, this whole coast. You see this coast from Carolinas all the way down into Florida. These are the Savannah Aborigines. So, Black Bear's relatives and a lot of you all's relatives came from the coast over here and came inland. Because when the Spanish was invading us from down here, you know, we got the hell on up out of there and came more inland. But basically, you got the tribes, you got the Yamasee tribes, the Appalachian tribes. Remember I talked about them, the Okmulgee tribes. And these little arrows you see are the cities that the Aborigines had. The Oconee, the Ogeechee Aborigines, for example, all my brothers and sisters in Bullock County. You got the Ogeechee Aborigines down there, which really are just the Yamasee or the Savannah. And then, of course, you got the... um who we call in the Creek or the Muscogee Aborigines, but basically these are the same stock as the Yamasee or the Appalachian. All right, right over here. So this is a good little map to show you. This is how Black Bear knows who his people are. Because actually, this is they claim they claim that all this is modern. Well, modern day this will be Georgia, but as you can see, Georgia and Alabama haven't really been sectioned off yet. But basically, this little dividing line you see right here is the dividing line between Georgia and Alabama, like right around Phoenix City. Like I told you all, Fort Benning, Columbus, Georgia, that's like the southwest, western portion. That's more where Black Bear folks from. But these people migrated over here from over here. So my great aunt used the word Blackfoot, but that was just a word probably just for all the indigenous peoples that was kind of, you know, mixing in and migrating over here and stuff like that. Okay. There's one more thing I want to show y'all. Now I want you to look at this. This is a physiographic regions of Georgia so basically showing you Georgia without its county lines or something but just showing you all the mountainous regions all the rivers all the creeks and all the valleys so this is why I say I'm Blackbeard because you see all these creeks and all these rivers throughout Georgia you're not traveling up this shit unless you're coming by us because we was ruling all this shit and we had all the gold the food and all that and we was traded with other aboriginals using these creek ways now I want you to pay attention right here in this area right here I'm about to point closer but right here is a bunch of mounds now right here also is where black bear people from because this is around the western part of Georgia like I was telling you um, um, the Muscogee the Aborigines the western Oconee the western Yamasee Aborigines uh, right here on the borderline of Fort Benning and stuff you know the Chattahoochee Aborigines on the west part of it about to go on into um, Alabama but if you look real close you can see a bunch of mounds over here let me see if I can get it on camera See real quick. You see it? You see all these mounds? These are mounds. You gotta ask yourself why all these mounds right here in the West Georgias, and why do they look like a community? They like in a circle. And when Blackbeard is in West Georgia going to his grandma's, he always sees these mounds. I feel them when we riding around them, etc. So these are mounds over here in the West. In Georgia. So if you want to know where all the pyramids and where all the mounds are in Georgia, you got to get what's called a physiographic region map and look and see where all the rivers are. See how here in the north you got all the mountains and stuff like that. And right here in the major area of Atlanta, which is probably up in here somewhere, 
And this is where a lot of the aboriginals was living too. So once again, the Creek aborigines or the Muskogee aborigines, or Coney aborigines, the Flint River aborigines, they was living all along these rivers. You know what I'm saying? But all the mounds and stuff in Georgia, here they go right here. All the mounds. Here go your mounds right here. All your Mayan, your Mayan mounds in Georgia, here they go right here. So this is the history right here. You see all these veins in Georgia? That's why in Black Bear arms, Black Bear got a lot of veins in his arms, especially when he work out and do push-ups. A lot of veins being Black Bear arm. And the reason why is because the veins represent the different creeks and the rivers of Georgia because I'm Aboriginal to the land and it's even in my body. So the veins in the Aboriginal arm represent the rivers. And the different creeks and waters. You ain't never noticed this little like veins. And that's why Black Bear arms real veins. And when the girls be on Black Bear body and say he got a nice body, they see all his veins. That's where they come from. The Aboriginal blood flowing in me. But I'm going to wrap it up. But here go these mounds right here in Georgia. So if y'all want to know where the mounds are in Georgia, go in the west part of Georgia, right on the coast of Fort, between Fort Benning, Columbus, Georgia, before you go into Alabama. And you can kind of find some around there. But, you know, just wanted to go into some history of this shit. Y'all stay tuned. I'm out.